In ancient times, long before the advent of the Xbox or the PlayStation, education and entertainment were one, and the learning company looked upon this edutainment, and lo, they saw that it was good, and thus the learning company crafted a series of wondrous games for the aforementioned genre. And the people received these games, and they loved them. But perhaps one game was beloved above all the rest, a mathematical adventure set deep below the sea. This is the story of that adventure, and of one man's futile quest to finally complete it. Malefact presents... Let's play Operation... Neptune! <sighs> Thank you, Slade. Astronauts are in trouble. Science is in danger. Vicious toxins endanger marine life. Who are you gonna call? Are you gonna call a marine biologist? Huh? No! They don't have the can-do attitude and skills necessary. You gonna call Captain Planet? No! Captain Planet's a jerk. You are gonna call me Malefact because I have an unhealthy enjoyment of DOS games, a rudimentary understanding of elementary mathematics, and uh, an overwhelming desire to recapture former youthful glories. Oh, and check this, my name fits exactly into the name slot. It is destiny! Normally when you play Operation Neptune for the first time, you should pick a Voyager game, but we are not first timers, we are experts. We will be picking the expert game simply so that we can rue this decision later on with reckless abandon. And not only are we gonna play the expert game, oh no, we're gonna open up these options right here, crank the customization to maximum and include decimals, fractions, and whole numbers because me, I'm not scared of fractions. I'm not scared of infractions. I'm not scared of anything apart from maybe the horrible monsters that inhabit this game. Ah, oh, this, I don't know if you ever played this as a kid. I don't know if you're of the right generation, but this game was a joy to so many people. In between lessons, if you completed work early or in IT lessons when you're supposed to be doing proper work, like proper maths, you might have had the chance to play one of the Learning Company's series of games. I never completed this one. In case you can't tell, it is uh, based in Wondrous DOS. And the graphics, oh my, I'm getting, I'm getting slaughtered out here. This is difficult. The graphics are wonderfully vivid. The soundtrack is ripping MIDI beats. The thing with the Learning Company games is, in order to progress the storyline, you have to solve maths puzzles. They start off quite easy, and they get progressively more difficult. You see, there's a difference of 11, and a difference of 13, a difference of 15, so the next difference is of 17, uh, which puts us at 76, 86. Yes! I demonstrate my non-ignorance. One of the best things about Operation Neptune was you had a Resident Evil style story delivered through log entries which you uh, pieced together over time. This is from Entry 2.02. .02. Three days after our landing we found a flat area to set up the observatory. Temperatures on the planet average 88 degrees Celsius. Without the protection of our spacesuits, we could not survive the harsh environment. Done! So yeah, the Learning Company games spark a whole series of nostalgic emotions and thoughts in the minds of many. So I think this is one of the reasons it deserves a wonderful Let's Play. Plus, 
it actually proves that a game can educate you and be pretty entertaining and challenging as a game. Anyway, this is challenging. I'm almost dead. I mean, this is expert mode. Oh, damn. Ah, oh, the sub handles like, I don't know, a very non-sub-like entity. <laughs> and yeah, this will cause frustration in the future, especially you, Flounder. Come here. You have ink pellets, which can temporarily disable an enemy, but you think they could have armed you with something slightly more effective, like a net or a taser. I guess they didn't want the kids thinking they should hurt animals. Hey! Occasionally your computer or your ship will bother you and say, look, you're having too much fun. Insert some maths into this equation. Okay, what makes 90? Uh, 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2. Every time I get one of these, I want you to play along at home. If you can complete the puzzle faster than Mal completes the puzzle, you get a cookie and a pat on the back. And I've just adjusted my ballast. Don't I feel better? Oh, don't you manta ray me! <sighs> Take that. Whoa! Anemones. Things. I don't even know what they are supposed to be. Arrgh! Search grid. Input fraction of the total grid map that has already been searched. That's a new one. 27 over 100. It doesn't ever want you to simplify them, so don't try any of that stuff. Hey! No! No, 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 no! Don't hurt me! I come in peace. For science. <gasps> this is one of the many educational games I enjoyed as a kid and probably set me up to play games for the rest of my life. Because this game was hard and... It sort of gave me an appreciation of good game design. Okay, so we stopped in the fifth entry. 25 times 4 is 100, plus 20. 120 over 6 is 20. 20. Yes! Mathematical victory is mine. This is tricky. <sighs> Darn things, so quick. I look like I'm piloting this drunk. I've had too much to drink. At the end of every area, if you've collected all the different parts of the ship, which I've been doing, you'll be uh, faced with a final boss of a combination lock. Uh, well, you're not allowed a calculator, you have to work out what the different bits add up together. As it starts off pretty simple though. Four plus two is, well, 60%. Bam. First number accepted. 20 plus 50 equals. Come on. Wait for it, wait for it. Bam. Ow, I hurt my finger. <laughs> And so you get your oxygen replenished and your ink pellets replenished just once, once and only once at the end of every section. Great progress! Everything is going well. We know you can do it. And if you don't, then we've got plenty more saps willing to do this mission. Out! A delightful little orange balloon goes up into the skies. And you enter the next area. There are, I think, five different zones? I've been told, I've never got to the fifth one, uh, each with three different sections in them. So this, this might go on for a little while. I'm afraid that's the end of the lesson though, so join me in the next supposedly maths class for another exciting episode of Let's Play Operation Neptune. Until then, ciao.